Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm the children's librarian here at the Newton Public Library, and I'm back with another round of DIY story time bags, um, this time for November. So in this story time bag, we have a book by Karma Wilson called Bear Says Thanks. It's a nice book because it has a great rhyme scheme and rhyming with children is really important as they learn to read, they start learning about word families and if they already know how to rhyme, it makes it really easy. Um, and also they're just cute and fun and we have a number of them here at the library. So you'll receive Bear Says Thanks in your book. And in addition to that, like last time, we also have a sheet of um, different activities, songs and rhymes that you can do with your child. And all of our um, programs are based on the idea of um, Seven Days, Seven Ways principle. It's an early literacy um, program. And it emphasizes that you share books, share stories, share, share rhymes, share songs. So we have a number of those that you can do with your child. So um, as you start with your child, you can talk about the cover, what animals you see, what they're doing. And then we have a couple of rhymes that focus on the particular animals. So we're gonna start with one about the raven. So, one of Bear's friends is a raven. Here are two ravens. Two little ravens sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Two little ravens sitting on a cloud, one named Soft and the other named Loud. Fly away, Soft, fly away, Loud. Come back, Soft, come back, Loud, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then the next one, we also included um, some magnetic manipulatives, kind of the idea is that you um, can use this like an old school library flannel board, but you can use a cookie sheet. Mine has been around a while, obviously, but they will stick to your cookie sheet and you can do the rhyme. So this rhyme is about a bear, a hungry bear. And it starts with five little apples, sweet to the core. Bear came and ate one, and then there were four. And if you have a bear, like this guy, you can pretend he comes along and eats it. Blah, 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 blah. Delicious. Okay, and then it goes on. Four little apples sitting in a tree. Bear came and ate one, and then there were three. Okay, three little apples shining in the sun. Bear came and ate one. I lost my place, but you get the idea. I mean, most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory, so you can just follow from there. And then we have a couple of songs that go along as well. Um, the first one is a thank you song, since the book focuses on gratitude and friendship. Um, the song we have is the thank you song, which goes to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And as I've said before, don't worry if you don't think you have a nice singing voice. It's really important to sing with your children. So it goes kind of like this. Thank you for the sun so bright. Thank you for the moon at night. Thank you for my family. Thanks for friends who play with me, etc. And then there's also a closing rhyme called My Hands Say Thank You. And it goes, My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Roll your hands and say, hooray. And that's that's basically it for the um, DIY story time bag for November. In addition, of course, we do include oops, some coloring sheets and then also a simple craft. This is pretty easy to put together. And if you want um, to talk with your child about what they might be thankful for, they can write them on the leaves and you will have a decoration to treasure, treasure for years to come. All right, and again, um, if you want more information about different activities you can do with your child to promote literacy, we do have packets that you can ask for. I won't put them in every bag this time, but we definitely have that information available at the desk. So I hope you enjoy and um, have a happy November. Thank you.